A blessed Sunday to all of you, dear friends. You are tuned in to OLMC Sunday Best. This is a sharing of the Bible study group from the parish of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Wan Chai, Hong Kong. Join us now in reflecting on this Sunday's liturgy for our life's nourishment. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. O God, you have willed that your Church be the sacrament of salvation for all nations, so that Christ's saving work may continue to the end of the ages. Stir up, we pray, the hearts of your faithful, and grant that they may feel a more urgent call to work for the salvation of every creature, so that from all the peoples on earth, one family and one people of your own may arise and increase through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we are celebrating the World Mission Sunday and our set of readings. Here in the Diocese of Hong Kong, we have another set of readings that you, you see from the other ordinary. Because, uh, uh, most of the Diocese of the world now is say the 30th Sunday mm -hmm. in ordinary time, yeah. and there's mm -hmm. the continuous reading of the Gospel of Mark. Mm -hmm. okay. For us here, we have this set. So the first reading is from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Mm -hmm. the, then we have the responsorial Psalm, Psalm 96. You know? Proclaiming God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. And the second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. And the gospel is from the end of the gospel of Mark. Mark 16, no, verses 15 to 20. Let us now listen to the first reading. A reading from the book of prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet come peoples, the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall approach those of another and say, Come, let us go to implore the favor of the Lord, and I too will go to seek the Lord. Many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to implore the favor of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days ten men of every nationality, speaking different tongues, shall take hold, yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Anybody knows who is this Zechariah? Prophet. <laughs> Good. One of, one of the minor prophets. Okay, this is the Zechariah of the Old Testament. No? Yeah, not the Zechariah of the New Testament, the father of John the Baptist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Zechariah is one of the minor prophets. I think this is the the, the eleventh book of the twelve minor prophets. Mm -hmm. And so we are here nearing the eschatological time, meaning the end times. Mm -hmm. And his prophecies. This is chapter eight. No, uh, Bible scholars would say the real sec words of Zechariah. There will be just chapter one to eight, and then there's the second Zechariah and third Zechariah. But anyway, he's talking really of the time when there will be the, uh, what do you call it, the restructuring of Israel. You know that they have undergone a certain exile, right. dispersion, mm -hmm. no? and so what they project now is the coming together of the new Jerusalem, mm -hmm. the rebuilding of the new Jerusalem, and the uh, regathering of the people of God. And it's very beautiful here. Do you see the the image? You know, many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to implore the favor of the Lord. And then this thing of, 
In those days, ten men of every nationality, speaking different tongues, shall take hold. Yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Uh, if you interpret it in our uh, Christian religion, who is that Jew that attracts no, and calls forth all the peoples of the world? Who is that Jew? The apostle? Christians. Jesus the Jew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take home of every Jew. Jesus, take home of every Jew. Sometimes we forget no, oh. that Jesus is a Jew. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yes. Je the incarnation of Jesus as a Jew. Yeah. But, but this time, sister, the Jesus still not come. <laughs> yes, he does not. No, but they're prophesying. Okay. Well, only prophesying. Yes, yeah. we are here in the Old Testament. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why it's the book of the prophet Zechariah. Mm -hmm. And prophesying, prophesying. Yes. telling that uh, the time will come when we will all be gathered together yeah. again. Mm -hmm. And somehow that happened when Jesus came. Yeah. No? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yes. I've been doing some reading lately. So, after the resurrection and yes. the apostles apostolic period when the apostles went out to to preach and teach. Yes. Originally they were they were they were Christianity really was started from Judaism. And I read that Gentiles had to become Jews before they could become Christians initially. At the, at the, early, at the very that, early stages. Yes. Yeah. And then Saint Paul Paul made the worked hard, hard to allow Gentiles to, to reinterpret that. Yeah. He said do we have really to become Jews? Jews to be, yeah. Yeah, is that really the will of God? Mm -hmm. It's true that we are coming from the Judeo-Christian tradition. tradition no? yeah. And then uh, Paul reasoned out, if Jesus himself you know, did not have, he, he, he was already the fulfillment of the law. Right. So the, the law is the center of life of the Jew. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came for us. So it's enough to have faith in Jesus. We don't have to become Jews. Otherwise, mm. we all have to go to Jordan mm. right. for our baptism. baptism the right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's too much. No? So the Old Testament is really tied to a lot of, you know, to the Jewish teachings as well. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The Old Testament, we call it Old Testament, yeah, actually it's the Hebrew Bible. The Hebrew yes. Bible, yes. It's very, it's very actual. Yes. Mm. No, for the Jews now. Yeah. Okay. But for us, it's just the precursor. It's Correct. the opening. It's the introduction to, the, you know, to for us to understand the life of Jesus and all right. the promises. Okay. Okay. So, uh, why is why why do you think Mission Sunday chose? I mean, the ones who prepared the liturgy for Mission Sunday chose this one, this reading. What what, what is the prophecy here in this reading? That says somehow uh, we will we have really to go out and preach and attract right. people, peoples to right. our Christian religion. Right. Yes, because our religion has the attractiveness, not just for the liturgy or but it's it's the person of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the person of Jesus who is the center. Of our religion, mm. what what makes Jesus very different? Maybe when we read now the gospel reading, yeah, okay, we will have uh, more insight into this question: why people are attracted. No? Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's hear first the gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, 
while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Okay, yeah. we are here in the Gospel of Mark, and this is the last chapter. Mm. Uh, if you do some readings on the Gospel of Mark, many will say, actually, the ending of the Gospel of Mark is chap uh, yeah, is still Mark sixteen, but verse eight, when the women, no, went to the uh, tomb, mm -hmm. saw the tomb rolled away, the stone rolled away. And then met the angel, and the angel said, "He is not here. Go and tell, you know, Peter and the brothers that he has gone to Galilee, and there you will see." And the women, what did they do? You remember? The women just kept the message to themselves. They were so afraid, uh -huh. trembling and afraid, that they all ran away. So that was supposed to be the ending of Mark. Oh. Okay. But the, the, the early uh, disciples said, how can you have an ending with such, I mean, it's such kind of ending. Right. It's, it's what? Suspended. Right. Suspended animation. It cannot be. <laughs> so they have to uh, confront, you know, see the other Gospels. Mm. Okay. So even if we say the Gospel of Mark was the first Gospel written, it has also to be made, uh, how, to balance it with the other Gospel writers who came later and made their own research. Mm -hmm. In fact, this later, uh, this later version, you see, it's Mark, uh, so from chapter 16 you have 1 to 8, and then 9 to 20, these are already additional. Mm -hmm. They don't find it <clears throat> in the early manuscripts. Mm -hmm. You see, these are just manuscripts. The mm -hmm. putting together of all of this uh, is a very tedious thing, you know. But they also had to confront and compare. Okay, yeah. and they saw, let's say here, the story <clears throat> of the the Gospel of Mark in the ending. Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel. Is the same thing that you hear in Matthew. Matthew yes. 28, yes. Yes. Matthew 28, no? 16 to 20, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. And then baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Here it's already, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. Mm -hmm. And it, it's good to see, the first thing is the proclamation. And then after the proclamation, what follows? There will be <clears throat> the signs. Mm -hmm. right. Because also in the story of Jesus, it's really uh, word and works. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. words of Jesus and then the works, the signs that he did, or the miracles. And so the signs will be what? They will, it said yeah. there, they will drive out demons. Right. They will they speak serpents. new languages. Yeah. They will pick up serpents so in their hands. They will cure the serpent. If they drink any deadly thing, it will not. Where do you see this? Some of these stories are in the Acts of the Apostles. Yes. Mm -hmm. You remember uh, Paul in Malta. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's why they're saying uh, this later part of Mark was already a research of really what happened in the Christian community after. Mm -hmm. Okay, that the faith is not just a simple preaching, but it's mm -hmm. also made up of works, mm -hmm. of yes. signs. Mm -hmm. no? They will lay hands on the sick yeah. and they will recover. The Acts of the Apostles is all like that. Yes, mm -hmm. Peter didn't they resurrect the young girl from the dead. Yes, the mm -hmm. yeah. and the, yeah. yeah. So, the the power of the spirit is at work in Acts of the Apostles is actually from Samaria from Judea to Samaria to the ends of the world. Right. Okay, one eight. I think this is Acts one eight. The the what do you call the standing order of our Lord <laughs> from the, right. like a commander. <laughs> so when he says go out, go into the whole world and proclaim so the gospel. Yes, from mm -hmm. and in fact, the Acts of the Apostles end with the uh, arrival of Paul in Rome, Rome. which is the center it's of the Roman right. Empire. Mm -hmm. Now, it's like yeah. a part of this command was already 
you know, it's already done. And, and then sister, I have a question also about Saint Paul. Yeah. Is Saint Paul only preaching to the Gentiles? What about the Jewish the Jews? He did. He started with the Jews. Jews he also he always that was his formula. Mm -hmm. First to the Jews. Mm -hmm. But then the Jews rejected the preaching, so yes. he went to the Gentiles. Um, okay. Because wasn't there sort of not conflict, but between James was in Israel yes. and yes. And so Paul concentrated in Turkey and Greece. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Peter and James went more to the Jews. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. So just they, they just divided the work. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then and that is somehow understandable because well, Paul was not part of the twelve. No, no. 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 Paul came later. He yeah. persecuted them. Exactly. Yeah. That's why. What credibility will he have? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. He he really struggled to be accepted yeah. by the community. Do you think she she was he was really chosen for the Gentiles because at the time the focus is only in Jews. So to to expand or to extend, maybe yeah. she was maybe by God. Well, he had the right on the road to Damascus. Yes, it. yes, and he was even said. Uh, he was even told, uh, who was that? The the one who who cured him. I will have to show him how much he should suffer. Yeah. Um, okay. And Paul really suffered, you know, to be able to fulfill that mission to the Gentiles. And then, anyway, so Paul would be one very, very good example of this. Yeah. One who, who had all these uh, signs, no? So not only the word, but also the signs. And how does the gospel end here? Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up to heaven. Okay. So it's the same thing also as you have in the Acts of the Apostles, in Mark, in Luke, no? They saw Jesus ascending into heaven, and right. then with that ascension, with the departure of Jesus, is now the work of the Holy Spirit. Wow. Okay. And that is the point. Jesus it's left perfect. so that now the Holy Spirit can take over hmm. you know, for this work of uh, uh, empowering the disciples to preach you know, and to confirm the word through accompanying signs. Mm -hmm. We always say it's both word and works and mm -hmm. signs. So that maybe uh, we were saying you know, the attractiveness of the gospel of Jesus is that it's not only the words. Mm -hmm. Like when you're saying that your mother and father said, can we also be Catholics? They must have seen something there. No? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Without even saying some anything, you know, they sense a different kind of presence, yeah. a change in the person. Somebody was even saying, uh, the resurrection of Jesus is not only the sign, the proof, it's not only that there is no body, no, mm -hmm. no body, no body of Jesus was seen mm -hmm. afterwards. Okay, because it could also be that somebody really wrapped the body and kept right. it. You know? yeah. <laughs> but that is not the point. The point is the lives of the apostles were changed. Mm -hmm. Peter, who was very frightened, very mm -hmm. fearful, became very oh. courageous. Yes. Yes. In the Acts of the Apostles, he was already confronting the rulers of the, you know. Mm. He, you remember in the crucifixion, in the scene of the Passion, mm -hmm. yes. he denied Jesus three times, three three times, times. Yeah. No, very much afraid that he would be following the, right. the same no, mm -hmm. love of the Master. But then after that, after the resurrection, everybody became so courageous to get out of their yep. cell. Okay. This, this is also my, I, I also wonder, sister, why these apostles the disciples, they are Jew, Jews also, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. But why these Pharisees cannot believe? But why these people just at once they believe? Mm -hmm. What's the power of God yeah. did, uh, give to them? Because yes. they are both Jews. Yes. The Pharisees is very strong. I am a lawmaker. I am the this. this. Yeah. But they don't believe in Jesus. Yes. But I think at that time there were also, Those because th there were many people who were claiming to be the Messiah. 
because mm-hmm. they wanted to liberate themselves from Roman rule. And yes, yes. So maybe they heard from lots of people, but Jesus was different. He really... Jesus was different not only because of what he said, yeah. but what he was also so, exactly. doing, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and talking about the Pharisees, there were some Pharisees who believed in him. Oh, uh, yes, yeah. Nicodemus was part Nicodemus, of the Pharisee oh, party. Right, mm-hmm. right. So you cannot put them all in one block. Mm-hmm. You read uh, Luke, the Gospel of Luke, Simon the Pharisee, mm-hmm. chapter 7. Mm-hmm. So there were Pharisees. There was even a study which says Jesus the Pharisee. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really yes, Jesus the Jew. Oh, and yes. then, you know, the Pharisees are the, at the time, at the time of Jesus, would be more the liberal party for the interpretation of the law. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. The Sadducee liberal party liberal. would be, <laughs> <laughs> then maybe that's extremely extreme, but there is, there are also the, the very conservative uh, group. Oh. Yes. You remember the Pharisee are the ones who believe in resurrection. That's why they can talk. The Sadducees do not believe in resurrection. You read again the, the Acts of the Apostles. They, for them, it's really just up to the Torah, the, the, the five books of the Old Testament, and up to there, and no more. So no who, more were the, who were the ones who went off into the desert and they just believed that the world was coming to an end? That's the essence. Yes. That's the, yeah. yeah, like the monks. Yeah. You know, it's just the, the end of the world. Yeah. So there are many different factions. Yes, yes. There are different factions. And and Jesus is so different, they cannot really categorize him. Right. Mm-hmm. They cannot categorize him. That I mean that attractiveness of Jesus mm-hmm. continues up to now. No, but that cannot be just proclaimed. It has to be seen yeah. in mm-hmm. his uh, followers. Okay. So mm-hmm. If we go now to the second, second reading, reading. Okay. you see how actual this is now. Mm-hmm. Huh? Right. Now this is St. Paul. Okay. okay. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplication, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God, our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this, I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth. I am not lying teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish, then, that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So, yeah, it does come out here. Yes. Teacher of the Gentiles. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but be careful when you read this tomorrow, Gerald, yeah. huh? Because sometimes I hear readers say, are reading from the, le- the, the first letter of Timothy. Um, uh, St. Paul. Two <laughs> okay, yeah. good. You got it. Yeah. It is it, Timothy is the one being right. addressed by the exactly. letter. It's the letter of St. <laughs> Paul to Timothy. Timothy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who, is Timothy? Tim, who is Timothy? He's yeah. a Greek, isn't he? So he was one of the early, early Converts. followers of Paul. Paul. Okay. Uh, you can even say a disciple of Paul, okay. who later on became a bishop. Okay. 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 And uh, and and that's why uh, somehow Paul could call him like you are my son in the gospel. Right. You know, uh, Timothy became one of the the earliest missionaries following Saint Paul. Also, mm-hmm. uh, even in the, this letter of Saint Paul to Timothy will already be some of the letters in prison. Because you know oh, that, that St. Paul was also in prison many times now. Yes. Yes. But uh, towards the end of his life, because this is already a later letter, mm-hmm. no? the, the, early le- the earliest letters would be what? Uh, Corinthians, mm-hmm. Galatians, mm-hmm. No? and then you have already those directed to specific persons. Mm-hmm. So here is Timothy, then there's Titus. Mm-hmm. These are already 
these are already the bishops. Mm -hmm. Of course, at that time, the bishops will not be like the bishops that we have now. No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> these are the bishops who will really be in the pastoral. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's a different image. We're in the early times mm -hmm. of Christianity. Yeah. Okay. And who is the last one? Philemon. Mm -hmm. So these are the, I mean, the letters addressed to persons. Person. Timothy, yeah. Titus, and Philemon. Mm -hmm. The others are letters addressed to communities. Yeah, yeah. So they are all Greek? Uh, well, Romans would be Romans. Ro to the Romans, but most of the letters would be really the early communities in parts of Greece. Greece yeah. But Turkey. now it's Turkey, yeah. yeah. Like Galatians would be more of Turkey, Turkey now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Geography. That will be another good pilgrimage. Oh, <laughs> yes. yeah. I've been to Turkey. It's amazing. Really? To the House of Mary in Ephesus. Wow. Yes, yes. And the first churches, you know, St. John. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. The House of Mary, wow. I want to see. Oh, it is. It's so moving, the House oh. of Mary. Of Mary. Beautiful. That's so why you've been there. Hundreds so of weird. people go. Yeah, yeah. 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 But when Benedict went there, there were already few, very really? few Catholics, very few. Mm. And you know that that was the place where the, I think twice um, two Italian priests were murdered. Oh, oh no, really? Yes, missionaries. Yes. Mm. They were, uh, what do you call it, Fe, Fidei, Donum Fidei is the missionaries that are gift of the faith, no? Mm -hmm. Some diocese in the, in, in like Rome will offer some of their priests mm -hmm. as missionaries to the Difficult yep. places. Oh. Turkey is one of the difficult places. Yes, yeah. And that is the mystery of faith. Imagine Paul preached there. Yeah. Yes. And now how many is all Muslim? Yeah. yeah. Yes, in Turkey. Yeah, but anyway. Mm. So, that, is, that is why we need missionaries. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We need missionaries for this now. We are given this task. And it's not, um, uh, th this is not what, what Paul is saying here to Timothy. It's not an indifferent uh, mission. Mm -hmm. First is prayer. No? Mm -hmm. Offer supplications, prayers, mm -hmm. petitions, mm -hmm. thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. yeah. For kings, for all in authority, that we may be able to lead a mm -hmm. quiet and tranquil mm -hmm. life in mm -hmm. all devotion mm -hmm. and dignity. It's really mm. the, the desire for peace, mm -hmm. okay? And he, he respects the hierarchy of right. society, okay? Mm -hmm. That these are also necessary, mm -hmm. okay? This is good and pleasing to God. And this, again, no, as we were saying in the beginning, the centrality of our faith, this is Christ, mm -hmm. no? The one, he, sa he says here, the, the one who gave himself as a ransom for all. So, Paul sees that as his first, his first mission, to bring out this uh, person of Christ and the power of Christ to unite the peoples. Okay, mm. and that that is what was repeated also in the readings that we have just heard. No, bringing peoples together. Yeah. Mm. Okay, having the same devotion and dignity. Okay, and recognizing our being all children of God mm. no? but the what the mission is not easy Paul his, himself uh, says here I am I was appointed preacher and apostle teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth so what mm. you were saying you know Gentiles would still be and now we interpret it differently I mean you transpose the word Gentile into what? The non? Yes. I mean, the original is non-Jews. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Jews and Gentiles. Right. The Jews, which belong more to a tribe mm -hmm. or a right. people. Mm -hmm. And the Gentiles Every, are all um, who are non-Jews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So practically, we are we Gentiles. Gentiles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you put it in this kind of... Yes, but now, yeah. but now, what happens is uh, we have applied now that we are the believers. So the others would be the gentle, gentle. <laughs> 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 when I was when I was in university, I remember 
you know, the Protestant groups are very strong, mm. no? Yeah. So they call themselves the Christians, mm. and then they will bring me in and say, but you are still non C. You are non Christian. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how we are, no? Yeah. We are just so good in separating. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a mental framework. That yeah. it is, this is yeah. us, and this is uh, inside and outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like that. No? There are Jews who believe in Christ. Oh. So do not just oh. think that all the Jews do not believe in Christ. There are Jews mm. that believe in Christ. Yes. Oh. Oh. They call them the Messianic Jews. The Messianic Messianic Jews. Jews. And you know where I met them? Messianic. While swimming in the Dead Sea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like this. It's like this. We were swimming in the Dead Sea. And there was this guy who started, where are you coming from, etc. And then... Uh, when he realized I was coming from the Philippines and maybe I was a Christian, he started asking me, how would you preach to me Christ, uh, no, the one you believe in, the one, uh, to me, a Jew, what, how will you do it? Right. So that was really a test of, oh, how do I do that? I mean, it's out of my mind. I'm, I'm having recreation. <laughs> <laughs> so and yet I have to recall my Bible. Yeah. And I had to challenge him also, uh, do you know enough Bible to, to be able to keep on the discussion? He said, yes, yes, I know, I know. And so I started with John 3, 16. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his mm -hmm. only son. And, and, and then he, he combated and said, but did you know how the Christians, what they did to the Jews? You know, the, the Holocaust and all the yeah. history. I yeah. said, yes, yes. But... I said, in our Christian religion, we also, Jesus talked of forgiveness, yes. of reconciliation. Mm. You know, that it's not that we stay on the same point forever. He has mm. done, he has given himself so that we can, uh, we can be able to reconcile with each other. It's not just a reconcil reconciling between heaven and earth, but also reconciling among us. Mm. Then I realized, why, who is this guy? He was the founder of this uh, movement, mm -hmm. the Messianic yes. Jews, yes. Mm -hmm. with the mission, which is very similar to Paul. Mm -hmm. um, they preach to the Jews first. They really go to the Jews. Mm -hmm. the, the, the soldiers, mm -hmm. you know, it's full of soldiers, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. And then uh, they gather all the other Jews from different parts of the world. In fact, the one who explained to me was... a. Uh, Somebody from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. She was a Jewess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, it's like that. I mean to say, this mission mm -hmm. no, of preaching is going on. Mm -hmm. This preaching, even uh, what we imagine with, time, with the time of Paul, is going on right now. Mm -hmm. you know? So I guess that also helps us, that, that, that encourages us. And I would wish, I was talking to Gerald about Lucius earlier. Do you think Lucius has a religious vocation or <laughs> priestly vocation? <laughs> the son. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, he was the one who, who attracted the father. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, he's exactly. a priest. For his example. Is no. he a priest? No. 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 Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> But there are people who feel this very strongly in their lives because it's a vocation, it's a calling. It's a calling. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed by the deacon. Yes. The new deacon who's mm, Alex. He's Alex like Paul. a great man of faith. Yes, yes. Wow. Alex. Paul. Yeah, you can feel when he speaks. Yes, wow. yes. And he is very zealous also of, yeah. of passing on. He from, can tell. He really yeah. wants you to believe and yes. Christ's love. And mm, yes. He seems like a nice man. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very lucky, and yeah. he's also very good at English. So yeah, very oh, that's, good. that's right. Yeah, that's why Father Law is uh, involving him more now in the English yeah, community. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're lucky. Yes. Yeah. And and OLMC has already now uh, with uh, with Ger uh, Gerard. Mm. Gerard. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had another <laughs> Gerard. Uh -huh. Really? Three years ago. The LBS Gerard. <laughs> Three years ago, I noticed this guy who was always there after the Mass, no? praying long, mm -hmm. yeah. and then on Fridays for the adoration, 
Doing. He's he's a journalist from the Wall Street Journal. Oh, I've heard about Lucius tell me about him. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then before before, before he left yeah. Hong Kong, yeah. because he was called back by his uh, company in New York, he's from New York. I said, Gerald, do you think you have a religious? You have a vocation for the priesthood? <laughs> yes. He's studying to be a priest now? Now he's yes. in Rome, oh, the wow. North yeah. American College. He, oh, he wrote me in 2019 asking for a recommendation. So he had his two years in Washington, D.C. Yeah. You know? And I said, and he says, in our homestead, yeah. there is, a, there is yeah. an article. I, yeah. I invited oh, yes. him, I invited yeah. him no, to write something. I said, yeah, uh, if there is one motive I could give is this, is... I cannot live without God. Yeah. Mm. So it's it's a very centered life on God. Yeah. When you have that, when you have that, uh, like God for you is an oxygen, <laughs> oxygen that you cannot sure. live without. No? Mm. Then maybe, maybe, mm. no, that's a sign. Mm. So I was talking to Gerald. Maybe Lucius has some kind of that because you can see his interest, no, yeah. yes. helping the poor, wow. no. Uh, organizing activities in the church, right. yeah. then bringing even his parents his to the church. <laughs> 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 <It's okay. laughs> Promise me that you will go and read. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> you see, it's, it's like that. It's, it's a very explicit uh, practice and work, and uh, witnessing of the faith. Yeah, it's very beautiful. True. Yeah, and we praise the Lord for that. We yeah. praise the Amen. Lord for that. No? Yeah. Then, sister, relate, relative to this Messianic uh, Jews, because when, when I visited in, uh, in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. when we went to Sipo Care, mm -hmm. I was thinking it's a uh, Catholic priest will be there, but also in, in, in other church, Jitsimani. But I, I found out that it's not the Catholic priest, it's the, the, the black, it's the, the Russian, uh, oh, I don't the know. Orthodox. The Orthodox. Oh, the Orthodox. They are well, the one who live. Maria, uh, hey, this is they said your, your faith has to be very strong to be able to go to Jerusalem <laughs> and not lose the little. <laughs> because if I, I it's so little, wonder. you might lose it. <laughs> because actually what happened was uh, the, the land of Jesus uh, had undergone so many transformations yeah. Yeah. okay and all the religions want to be represented there sure. mm -hmm. okay so for instance the holy sepulchre yeah. do you know who's holding the key for opening the door is a muslim yes. oh, yes. Muslim. why <laughs> because otherwise there will be a war between uh, catholics mm -hmm. orthodox coptics Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. they have they have to be all represented there in fact they have even oh. all the schedules for the what the stations of the cross the yeah. prayers yeah. they are all done with yeah. specific schedules okay and they call it the status quo no. <laughs> you cannot change that <laughs> otherwise there will be another war so it's like that sadly so this is the sad part of our witnessing we mm -hmm. cannot yeah. still be united right. yeah. we're all Christians okay yeah. but we cannot be united mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. so when we had the ecumenical council ecumenical council is the desire mm -hmm. really to bring together all these different mm -hmm. delivers of Jesus no? mm -hmm. each one would be still holding to mm -hmm. his own or her own hierarchy yep. mm -hmm. so that's a reality Thank you oh, for bringing yeah. that out. Because that just that just says to us that there's really mission to be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We cannot stop. Right. We cannot stop. No. Mm -hmm. Until there could really be this transformation. Mm -hmm. Okay. That all peoples of the world would really believe as one. Mm -hmm. Understand? No? Because I, I keep asking other people. They don't. I don't know. <laughs> they just say like that. Just say the sister the orthodox. explain. The orthodox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. orthodox. Uh, it's, it's like that. In our, in our faith, there's still so many uh, discrepancies, yeah. if you can put it yeah. that way. Yeah. No, that we still need a lot of conversion. Mm -hmm. So right. even as we preach outside, we attract mm -hmm. others from outside. We still have to work very mm -hmm. hard yeah. inside. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Okay. And that's why there's also the synod. 
Yeah. Yeah. We yes, talked about yes, the scene yeah, last yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. working together, yeah. No? Yeah. we have the Vision transformation has to happen all together. Mm. Okay? okay, but there is this direction of really having all the nations believing in one God. And mm. can we end with this one? The yes. we can. Uh, pray here the responsorial psalm mm. okay, for our ending mm. proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all nations sing to the Lord a new song sing to the Lord all you lands sing to the Lord bless his name announce his salvation day after day tell his glory among the nations among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Give to the Lord your families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Thank you for tuning in to OLMC Sunday Best. Please join us again next week for another episode. Have a blessed Sunday, everyone.